Hello again YouTube. This is going to be a real quick video on a few little motherboard tweaks that can help you squeeze just a tiny bit more performance out of your computer. Uh, today we have a Gigabyte Socket 1155 board. It just has a Core i3 in it and 4 gigs of RAM. This is one of my LAN computers. And basically we're just going to disable some things that are, are normally on by default. Um, make sure you're familiar with your BIOS and making changes. Uh, so that's kind of my disclaimer for, uh, for you possibly messing something up. Uh, this would really only affect you on boot, but of course if you come to a boot menu, Generally, you want your first boot device to be your hard disk. That way the computer doesn't even look to check and see if your DVD-ROM has a disk in it that it needs to, to boot to. So you always want your hard disk first in there. And then usually a BIOS will have this integrated peripherals, integrated something setting. And here, unless you're using an old parallel printer or some type of serial device uh, you want these disabled and basically that's one less thing that the BIOS is passing off to the Windows operating system so it's it's one less thing for Windows to keep track of so obviously there we have two things that we can disable you, know, you don't want to disable your USB controllers of of course but that's something that most people don't even think about and it's not like it's going to be an insane performance difference or anything but on an older system or you know like with my LAN computers being older every little bit of performance helps and of course the other thing is anything we can keep off of Windows shoulders we want to I mean the less Windows has to do the better right uh, I don't think there's anything else in here we really want to want to look at. Those are the those are the f basically only three little things I wanted to mention. But uh, for me, I always make sure on my systems that those are disabled because you know the aforementioned reasons. I don't want Windows to have to worry about that stuff, and the less Windows has to worry about, the better it's going to perform. So that's basically all this video was about and like I said make sure you're comfortable with your BIOS the settings should be in there somewhere I've never seen a computer that didn't have the ability to turn the parallel and serial ports off so that's it for this video see ya